35% milk whey, oh. like all the best drinks. I'm not 100% sure what whey is. You mistake me for Stephen Fry, <laughs> but... I'll often, often, often I do that. <laughs> I think it's just the waste after fermentation. So it's like... Um... Ectoplasm. Mm. So the ectoplasm. Cheese ectoplasm. OK, so then uh, that goes to the Rivella yeah. factory. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Would you think ill of me if I said it was way better than I expected? Hey, I would think, if it's possible, even more. Oh! Sorry, that's my phone. It's meaningful. That'll be the World Cup. Yeah. I did a football song once and we needed that for the video. Hiring it is impossible. Right. That wasn't World in Motion, was it, the song? No, this was uh, much better. <laughs> How dare you? That's one of the finest musical breaks in any song got to hold the line and do it at the right time. I'm impressed that you know that. That was, that was when I broke with football, just before then. You look like a footballer. I do, thank you for noticing it. Do you want to hear the traumatic story? Yes. I hope you're doing a slow zoom. I was captain of the football team up until 11 at primary school. I was in the football team at eight, playing with 11 year olds. I was a lad oh, of natural talent, yeah, fast, were, grace, yeah. elegance, vision. At 11, New school, Catholic boys' school, only played rugby. I was in a segmented, siphoned off scholarship set. I was denied football at lunchtime. A victim of your own intelligence. And perhaps, let's just put it out there, the world's greatest footballer was snuffed out before I'd reached my teens. And in protest, I never played football again. It is quite a horrible story, It's though, a terrible story. You, you could have been... I just think you might have been a different bloke if you'd become exiled. a professional footballer. Well, the world will never know. Mm. But, yeah, anyway. If so, they weren't zooming in, they can put it on in post. So, for the blessing, I will have to put your head into the water. I'll say four sentences that define Dada. Then you come up and you shout Dada. So, I would suggest maybe you take off your jacket. OK, here you go. Okay. How do you achieve eternal bliss? Dada! How do you become famous? Dada! With noble gesture and delicate propriety until craziness, until unconsciousness. Dada! Wow. That seemed a lot more violent than, than I thought it would be. I, um, I feel I've been abused. <laughs> I do have trust issues. If I suddenly freak out and elbow you in the nose, you'll know why. OK. How do you achieve eternal bliss? Dada. How do you become famous? Dada. With noble gesture and delicate propriety until craziness, until unconsciousness. Dada. Thank you very much. I quite enjoyed it. It's all right. Yeah. We can do it again if you want. I'm OK. Yeah, well. <laughs> Fondue, you either have to pay for the whole meal or run around naked. Exactly. OK, I've brought yeah. money. Gosh, you've gone deep there. You've gone deep into the it's bowl. It's bobbling, look, it's still bobbling. It's too bloody hot. That's going to take the roof of my mouth off. That's really good. <laughs> oh, that's too hot. Mm. Oh, hot now. Oh. <laughs> you have to cool down with a pickled onion. <laughs> mm. I think no one's ever said that before. You want to come round to my house? I've always got one close. <laughs> What do you think? I think it's exceptionally nice. Hmm? I don't know how much of this you can eat in a row. I'm going strong at the moment. You're doing well. Are you flagging? It's just a lot of cheese. I remember when muesli arrived in England. I remember when kettle chips came in. I remember um, when tea bags came out. Tea bags came out? Mm. And it was Thai Fu, I think, were the pioneers. And their slogan... Frank, how old are, are you a vampire? I am old. old. No, no, it's not that long ago. It's sort of... When was it? It's like 1961 or something. And this is like, you know, commercial... They might have been had them in laboratories. But... The, 1960, what, what? So you were three? I was four. And you remember the shift from loose leaf to bag? I remember the slogan. Yeah. Thai Fu's slogan was... No. 
No teas in a bag. <laughs> that was a short meeting. It's a very pleasant... It's quite hard to eat yes. the way it's arranged. It's like eating a crown. You want to try the hot chocolate? 64% cacao. That's chocolatey, isn't it's it? Quite good, isn't it? It's not what I said. I said it's chocolatey. It's too oh, chocolatey. Too chocolatey, that's my review. I think it's very good. And in fact, I think it could possibly withstand even more cacao. Just a minute. You got all the fingers. Yeah. Yeah. So it's <laughs> going OK at the knife shop. <laughs> yeah. Each knife has 27 parts. Already looks complicated. Including two blades and a choice of corkscrew or screwdriver. We're going to be relying heavily on montage here. Yes. <laughs> Romy patiently supervises production. We checked the Swiss quality click. Lovely. And quality control. Not too, too much. Not too much, not too little. Yeah. So, so the note a... is, do it perfectly. Yeah. OK. Before allowing us to inscribe our own legends. I'm in my 60s now. I'm wondering if I should have my name and address on it in case I get, I'm, I'm found wandering. When you put the number down of a carer, it was either that or knife to see you to see you knife. Oh, that's a beaut. Oh, look I'm, at that. Yes, it makes it official that I'm Duke. Do you drink water? Um, fizzy water is my go-to drug. You should bring your own little soda stream with you. Slovenia is one of the most water-rich countries in Europe, and most of its supply comes from untreated groundwater. What is groundwater? It's water that is below the Earth's crust and has passed through yes. rock, comes straight up, that's it. From the water table? The, the water, water table, table, that's where you can do your water yes, homework. exactly. Can I press this button? I think so. Hoochah! Oh. Wow, is it? Hang on, stop, stop. I'll go. Oh, oh there. Oh, there we go. OK. Cheers. Cheers. Go for it. It's nice. It's, it hasn't mm. got any metallic taste. No. I feel no leather, no bootstraps, no cheese. I'm tasting ground. Television's gone downhill, hasn't it? Well, <laughs> Two men tasting water, passing for <laughs> entertainment. This is Santa's grotto gone mad. I know. With no Santa. Wow. Look, there's a thing. Oh, yes, this is where the post office used to be. Opened in 1899. Mum, just go down and get stamped. Yeah, get down and I'll get a curly whirly at the same time. Yes, didn't do a lot of business. So you look around this cave and you decide whether you want to buy similar caves in the area. This looks like Lord of the Rings. Just look up the ceiling. You will see like bacon slices. They're called curtains. It's it's all killer. This cave, isn't it? Yeah. Some filler. After a harrowing explanation of why stalactites are hollow, Miran steps up his shears. We'll never clear that. That's your per diem's gone. Yeah. That is not right. It looks like a moomin. <laughs> but they've got tiny fingers. So they could type. Let's or not... play piano. Yeah. Do you know how long they live? How long? A hundred years. Just exactly, and then boom, explode. Then they die of shame. Oof. They should remember end of World War One. You could talk to them. They will say, remember that. What was it like when World War One ended? And they went, well, I don't know, down here. This city so far, you're a well-travelled fellow. It's, it's a nice place for people to go for a weekend break. Not midweek? Midweek, it's, it's tricky. On Wednesdays, of course, they clear the streets and they all hide. And they just bathe in each other's blood. <laughs> Ljubljana. After a successful encounter with an adjacent bottle vending machine, we tank up. The nozzle withdraws mm -hmm. and we can consume. That's excellent milk. That's nice. And competitively priced. Yeah. It's raw milk, unpasteurized. It's meant to be very good for you. Excellent in battling diarrhea, which has been my really? Waterloo in more ways than one. Um, link it all together. Thank you. It's not worth the flight, but if you're here... If you're here... Why not? <sighs> oh, Hang on, go that's on. it. Watch out. Right! You're an expert. Enjoy. You've already made it, it swing. Enjoy. That's not good. I already feel nauseous. That's too fast. Oh. 
the website promise of the appropriate level of adrenaline is disturbingly vague. Impress me. No, no, no. This I do not like. I do not like this one. Oh. So I keep a firm hand on the tiller. This seemed very wrong. Careen with caution. Through the mouldy car wash. And slide to a dignified stop. Crazy. So how was it? It's another sign that civilization is nearing an end. Do you want to mount up? I'm going to have a go. With heels. A heels dismount. Cool. With much to prove. Is that right, yeah? Eddie lets gravity work its witchy ways. Oh, 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 oh. I've got to beat Richard Ayoade. His time of 93 minutes. With a marked disdain for braking. Mother of fudge cake. Eddie opens up the throttle. <laughs> to reach the max pos speed of 25 mph. Oh my god, we're going under a thing. Uh, not so good. Whoa. That was lovely. Well done. That was fast. That was scary. That was very fast. There were bears and everything. Do you want to demount no, until we I'll go? No, stay here. OK. Well, I will find other things that match my trousers. Very Perhaps good. over here. Three, two, two one. Three. Oh, it's got some... Two. Oh. It's possessed. Out. Oh, wow, it's gone nuts. Gosh. You get a lot of bang for your buck, don't you? Did we do that right? Did you make a wish? Uh, I wish for the bell to go on for a long time. OK. Where are my keys? I need to lock the door. To commence proceedings, we look for the nearest standing stone arrangement akin to Stonehenge. Hooray! We're alive. Oh. Ibiza's Henge is one of 51 sculptures that form part of a global land art project. That's right. You're looking at something that was erected without planning permission. <laughs> in 2014, solid basalt, 420 tonnes. That one's 10 metres, topped with 23 karat gold. Prove it, do you know what I mean? Well, go on Google Maps. <laughs> Why do you think this place is here? Some people say, and this is direct from the internet... Why is so angry? This is my tone. I'm not angry. I'm trying to give it light and shade. That this is for UFOs. <laughs> You're going to be sick. <laughs> now, why they'd be able to see this rather than anything else, I don't know. How do you feel about these lines on the column? The Are ridges. They... I would have thought that you would like the ridges to give you something to count, if I'm judging your character correctly. <laughs> Am I wrong? No. How many I mean, columns are there? There are 13 columns, I know that. Right. But I haven't counted that. Oh. That's just come in through the earpiece. The pool that was featured in the video by two young boys, one named George and the other one named Andrew. Oh, I was going to say Punt and Dennis, but no. no. OK. Wham! Wham and? Club Tropicana. Drinks are free. Indeed. So this is it. This is the very pool. It was a more operatic rendition than the original. <laughs> To help guests feel even less at ease, Sonny's boudoir contains a trough of outlandish threads. He's quite flirty. He's quite flirty. Even I can pick up on that. I can't read social cues. The man's got half his chest out. This guy's closing deals all day. Here he comes. And so, a little something yes. to brighten up your day. Yes, please. Yes, thank you. Because what I need is to be hotter. It's going to be okay. uh, this on, everything else off yes, for me. Well. Lay down on the board. With visible enthusiasm, I board the board. One, two, three. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's really good. Amazing. Now, look at me. Roll over. Why? Roll over. Why did I do that? Yes. Yeah. 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 Get that way, that way, that way. And, and the experience has stopped. Give him on the... Oh, I, I loved it. I, I absolutely loved it. It's good. It's great. The time has come for Nappet to be strafed by surf. Knees on the board, the feet into the water, OK? It's as simple as that, Jeff. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hey. OK. Hey. 
The cameraman, exhilarated by the escalating athleticism, realizes only slow-mo can capture the poetry and flips a switch. There's only so many times a man can slide up an angled paddling pool, and I exceed that number of times. It's been a joy. Get a room, lads. Great See job. You. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you. And I hope you learned Thank something you, too. Thank you, Alex. Didn't answer. Unbelievable. What a beautiful instructor. If they ever make the young Shirley Valentine. How oh, dare you. Jessica Knappett. Mm. Where's the party at? Did you pronounce party with a D? In 1987, Pike's regular, Freddie Mercury, threw an exhausting 24-hour birthday party in what was then the Marrakesh suite. Fred's bed is in this room. It is. For people to frolic about in. Today, Freddie's is oft rammed with revellers, commanded by the media on noted disc jockeys' USB sticks. Whoa, secret library, your favourite. Hang on a minute. This isn't a library at all. Hello. Hello. Because I was told to, I order the house special. Oh. Uh, Crown oh. Glory, 100 euros per purse. Speak to team for details. 100 euros? Yes. What's in it? Schwarzkopf crystals? I can tell you what's in it. You just have to try it. Oh, OK. Colonel. So when you say speak to team for details, maybe just delete that in future. Two crowning glories, please. Oh. Tanya the mixologist is the impregnable keeper of its secrets. Now what? WD-40. <laughs> Look, some homeopathic stuff oh, going in. My word. Do you go to clubs a lot? I usually go to clubs with my girl squad. We bang it in. Just, you bang anthems. it in. Oh, you. Okay. That You're not doing DIY. Dance. No. Okay. It's only the most glorious fish bowl I've ever encountered. And we're meant to drink from the same bowl. Yes. Like animals. Come on. You need that's a longer easy. straw. Ooh. Oh, that's delicious. That's. I haven't tasted anything that good since on Mongo. Steady on nap it. Let's take it on <laughs> and nap it. Get. <laughs> carry. You carry it if you have to take it, and I'll keep going. Gosh. Oh, wow, so you're burning the alcohol off? Yeah, only alcohol. Gosh, you said that with such anger. Why would you do that? Don't burn the alcohol off. Got to get through the day. This is wonderful. In many ways, it already feels like loose women on location. <laughs> to better times. No, I'm not tasting that. You are. The emotions, yeah. OK. And your soul. Because I have quite special gongs here. OK. It's no woo-woo magic. No. It's physics. Panama safely perched on my groin. King Gong Cosma Solarius clangs his cymbals, tuned to the planet, based on a cosmic octave... Just try and have an open mind. ..with the express intention of resetting our body's cell membranes. I want to leave. I think I might be going into cardiac arrest. Oh, it's a long set, isn't it? Is ready. With the tinnitus taking hold, Cosma starts to encroach on my person. It's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. Maybe it's three o'clock. He doesn't know how to end it. After 90 magical mins, we are all one and a half hours older. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much, it's been, everybody. It's been a cracking afternoon, lads. As Eve starts its encroach, we must pick a prong from the four Caforus. We could turn towards the tremulous tones of Milan's celebrated opera house, La Scala, or ladle out some risotto milanese, that place on the Venn diagram where rice meets saffron. But now we have those insert shots, there's no need. So we head to Milan's love letter to the Cheshire Ring, the Navigli district. 
Back door 43. Oh, ciao! Hi. Unbelievable. Why is this guy? Opened all the way back in 2015, Backdoor 43 claims to be the smallest bar in the world with a sui generis approach to the cocktail menu. Okay. Choose four dices. Right. Then through the dices. Okay. And you have to tell me a story. Okay. Of uh, what you see on, on the top. Okay. And on this, I will make you a drink for you. All right. Oh. It hasn't Go. worked. All right. Yes, prop work is always hard. Tell me a story. OK, once upon a time, there was this magic mushroom yes. who lived in a castle. All right. Um, but he always really wanted to go to Egypt, so he built a rocket and he ended in, up in the stars instead. OK. All right. I will do a cognac by Cocteau, just because a castle makes something that is quite noble. A bit spicy for a magic. Okay. Nice. And for the rocket, you will see it at the end, all right? After Matteo has metabolized the narrative into liquid form... Here comes a shake. ...he goes into voluntary spasm. It starts off slow. Macarena. <laughs> That's a heck of a figure of eight. It's sort of like barman body part. Very good. Okay. That's bloody delicious. Ugh. B bomb dropped. We press on with another barely connected string of sequiturs. Banana man. Banana man? Yes. Went to a mountain range. But he stopped because he forgot his jockey friend. Because <laughs> jockeys use whips. And with that, Matteo begins to turn my haunting imagery into close mic cacophony. It's like a Radio 4 play, that. <laughs> it's like the Archers. That's a wonderful performance. Now, this smells acrid. But in a good way. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's refreshing. Well done. Back to 43. It's a yes for me. It's a yes. It's a yes from Morgana. Cheers. Cheers. Salute. Salute. You can get these cocktails now in cans. I think it would really help your turnover, because the prep time don't insult him. I'm not, because some of these are excellent. If you've got some of these into Morrison's, I think they're dry. <laughs>